Hi, good afternoon. I am Denise from Denise Parks DIY. And today um, I am going to finish off, do a second coat of this chair. Uh, I bought this chair for like $5. Uh, at a secondhand store and it was kind of like a pink color um, but I want to update it and I want to make it gray so this is what I'm doing today um, but yeah I just I just wanted to show you guys that you can actually paint a chair I was actually pretty nervous the first time painting the chair and uh, there's there's no need to with the paint that I'm using uh, it's a DIY paint and uh, a little patience. Patience, you need patience. Um, so yeah, we're going to get right into it. If you come on, say hi. Let me know you're watching. And uh, alright, we're just going to go in. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, I'm going to bring you in a little closer so you see more of the chair and less of me. Um, if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and ask. And um, if I happen to miss it, then I'll catch it on replay. Or if you're watching on replay, please do uh, leave a comment or a question and I will get to it. Okay, so um, what you're going to need is a brush and you're going to need some paint and a sanding block. This is important to have the sanding block. Okay, so you want that and you need a water bottle just plain water because we are going to soak this down really well um, and that's the trick you've got to basically what what we're doing is staining we're dyeing the chair um, so we're going to wet it really soak it down we're watering down the paint to a 50 50 ratio uh, so the, the paint is watered down and um, so we're going to do that. If you don't wet it and liquid, like make the paint, uh, water down the paint, um, then it just sits on the top and you don't want that because then it gets all crunchy. So we want to really water it down so it dies in. This paint that I'm using, DIY paint, um, is, has five times the pigment of other paints. So it stains really, really well. Okay, let's get to it. So the first thing we're gonna do, let's see if we can get you. I'm gonna bring you in a little closer. Okay, so this is, this. I've already painted one coat here. This was a pink color. If you look on Facebook, you'll see that it's um, the before picture. So you, you may not see it in the camera, but you, I can actually see some of the pink. Uh, still coming through. This is actually kind of neat. You could actually stop here uh, But I wanted a more uh, darker color. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Okay so What I want to do first is I really want to really really and I mean really soak it down uh, So yeah, so I'm gonna really soak it and this is really the trick. And I mean, if you were working on a bigger piece, you would definitely, oh, hold on. If you were working on a bigger piece, you would definitely do a little section at a time, but this section here is, is okay. So I'm gonna soak it. And then because I have these little tufts in here, I wanna really get in here. Okay, so you're really, really, really soaking it. That way the paint dies rather than just sits on the top. Hopefully you can hear, still hear me over the squeaking of this thing. Okay, so I'm going to get in there and make sure it's all really, really squishy. In the sides. Okay, I'm going to come over to this side. Sorry, back of my head there. Okay. Even in the folds. Alright. So I've soaked that really well. So the paint again, it's a 50-50. So I'm going to 
Just give it a little shake. Actually, I think the first coat I did more of a 60-40, so 60% water and 40% uh, paint. Okay. So, I'm just going to get there and I'm just going to start. And you just start painting this in. All of this part up here is going to get uh, painted after, so I'm not worrying about that. But I'm really working in the paint. As you can see, it's really watery. Hopefully you're catching that on the video. Uh, let me know if I need to bring it in closer, if someone can let me know if you can see that or if you can hear me okay. So really, really rub that in. And then after this, we're going to take the, um, the sandpaper and we're going to rub that in as well. And what that's going to do is, um, so we won't have any streaks. Okay. I'll show you. I'm going to get up in this corner. But you can see how easy this goes on. But really, like I say, the thing you really want to do is have a lot of patience. Hopefully you're not seeing the back of my head. <laughs> okay, one more dip. Give this a good... And we're going to use sandpaper too on the final coat. And it is not going to be crusty. It is actually going to be soft. So I'm going to take my, uh, just my sandpaper square and I'm just going to rub it. So it's not a matter of sanding, like sandpapering. It's just kind of disturb distributing, distributing <laughs> the paint. So when it dries, there's not going to be any streaks. It's going to be a really nice, even color. Okay. I mean, look at that already. Okay. So I'm going to do the bottom here. Hi, Callie. Kelly is my sister. She is my main supporter. She's helping. Oh, wait. Ah, I forgot. I want to soak this up. Okay, and I'm going to feel it. Just make sure. Really, really soak that in. Thanks for the thumbs up, Kelly. Okay. All right, so then I'm just gonna feel it. Still feel a few little spots that are wet, or sorry, dry. Okay. I'll get used to this Facebook Live stuff. I'm still kind of nervous. When you're teaching, you're used to having somebody in front of you. Sounds like a duck, I know, eh? <laughs> I have a quieter mister. Um, but, oh, thanks for the heart. I have a quieter mister, but it takes forever to do. So, you didn't want to be sitting there watching that. Okay, so I'm just going to give another few. Make sure everything's really nice and wet. Okay. Give my paint a little stir. All right. And then just start painting. So you could use any kind of brush, really. Um, you can use an old chip brush. 
or any kind of brush that you have in the house. It's not uh, like you um, want to make sure that you have no paint lines or anything. You don't have to worry about something like that with this, uh, this technique. And then once it dries, and this actually, this is where the patient comes in. Once it dries, you, you actually got to wait until it's really, really dry. So I did the first coat yesterday. And I put it outside because we had a really nice sunny day. And uh, let it dry. And then I'm going to do a second coat. I might do a third coat. We're going to see how it goes. Um, I'm going to just get in here. See, this got a little fold here. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. Looks good so far. Thanks for showing us how to paint it. No problem, Nancy. Um, see, as you can see here, you just want to lift that fold up. I don't know if you can see that. I think it might need another coat. We'll see. I mean, I kind of like my stuff sort of distressed anyways. But, uh, okay. So, we've got that in there good. Okay, again, I'm going to take my uh, little sander. And as you can see, I don't, I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Kind of moving the paint around. It's a little messy. You might want to put a drop cloth down. And that's it. I mean, I'm going to turn it around in a minute and do the back because there's some back as well. Um, but that's pretty much it. I mean, that's 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 pretty darn easy. Um, here, let me get wipe my hands here. Maybe what I can do is bring in a little closer in a second. And uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna wipe this here. So what you would do? Okay, so I'm gonna try not to say so a million times. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna let this dry so tomorrow uh, yes it is very easy Kelly and maybe I'll get you to paint the next one yes <laughs> um, what was I saying so I'm gonna let this dry and then tomorrow I'm gonna take not that same block but a sandpaper this is I think this is a 150 grit you don't want anything really too scratchy or too fine. So 150 or 200 around there. And then I'm going to sand that. So actually, what I can do, I'll turn this, well, yeah, I don't want to turn that around. So that's going to get all messy. But you're going to sand that down. And then I haven't decided. I might either wax it or I might use um, DIYs. Uh, they have like a, this clear coat. Uh, it's a liquid. So stay tuned for that. Maybe I'll do another live and we can figure out what I'm going to do with that one. Uh, let's see here. Okay. So what I'll do, I think is there's anything else. Anybody have any questions or anything? Um, yeah. And this here, what I think I'm going to do is on the side here, I'm going to paint it white probably a white swan vintage linen something like that that'll look really pretty um of course i'll post pictures too on facebook and instagram and let you know um if you're interested in doing something like this uh, you can get the diy paint on my website so the website is uh, denise parks uh, with an e p-a-r-k-e-s diy.com uh, there's a link at my Facebook. Uh, you can get everything that I've used, uh, the paint here. Uh, the brushes I will have in probably in the next month or so. 
they're paint pixie brushes they're really awesome really really nice paint brushes um, okay so let me see if I can detach you without hold on not making it too shaky uh, not too shaky okay hold on I'm gonna switch you around and can I how do I switch you around there we go okay so that's it there so this was pretty pink I mean this is this was like that now I like pink but this was kind of not a nice pink kind of that old yucky pink um, and I really like the fact that it's got these tufts tufted I don't know what you call them <laughs> um, so yeah so that's it easy peasy um, if you're in the, if you're gonna be in the Woodstock area uh, Woodstock Ontario uh, I'm gonna be doing some classes I haven't decided what the first one's gonna be um, but if I have enough people who want to do a chair or something like that I can do that we can do a demo of a chair or, or you can bring your own piece or you know we'll do some stuff uh, that'll be at the Woodstock uh, location so okay so I guess that's it if you have any questions uh, certainly contact me or leave a message here and uh, let me switch you around and uh, yeah so I hope this was informative um, thank you for bearing with me uh, thank you for bearing with me and uh, I'll get better at this and not so many ahs and so's but anyways have a good afternoon enjoy your day what's left have a good night and uh, we'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.